Hi, this is Brian Van from Sport Bike Track Year, SportBikeTrackYear.com. Today I'm going to do a quick video review for you guys on the Icon Domain 2 helmet. So happens we happen to have one here. We're going to cover the benefits and features. I'm going to take one apart too and show it to you from the inside out. I'm going to do a nice 360 here on the helmet so you can get a good feel for exactly what it looks like. Nice side view, nice back, other side. Two things I want to cover real quick. One, we put it on the shipping scale. We come in at about three pounds, nine ounces. This is a size large that we weigh. Um, a note on sizing too. I personally am a medium in most helmets, a Rye Vector, a Rye RX-7 Corsair, uh, the, the AGV Stealth, um, or millions of other ones, medium. This one is a large and it fits me just right. The medium was too small. So, use the sizing chart along with what I've just told you and kind of if you're you know over the middle size for the medium the middle measurement let's step it up to a large like that with every other size I think you're gonna need to do that because they fit just a little small let's go over some of the features and benefits of the helmet uh, one of the things here that it comes with which is really nice it comes with a nice little chin curtain installed you know this is something that you know a lot of the helmets offer now and what this does it quite simply works to quiet and calm the air in this area I just slid it back in real easy it tucks in between the EPS and the outer shell real simple nice and comfortable very effective feature I'm going to pull it back out right away and I'm going to show you the chin vent mechanism We've got a little slide here open close I like that you can kind of there's a couple of little detents they're difficult to feel uh, you can tune the amount of air that comes in the helmet let's go up to the diffuser on the top we've got a couple of switches here to adjust or turn on and off those vents uh, the quality on these mm, it's not so bad uh, it feels a little lightweight the actions only okay in the center the diffuser on the center kind of the same deal we've got multiple detents here you know the quality of it feels only okay at best see here we've got a cool little spoiler this is not a handle don't carry a helmet around town like that it feels like it might actually give up on you if you hold it from there we've got our extractor vents at the back of the helmet built into the diffuser those are always open remember air comes in it has to go out in order to cool you off that's what those are there for pretty aggressive styling without a question some nice graphics in this helmet let's go over the shield this is an icon fog free shield that comes stock on this helmet that's a nice feature to have if you live in a state where it's it's cool early in the year, cool late in the year. Allows you to extend your riding season, be a little more comfortable when you're riding so you can see. It also has a lock tab here at the very bottom. It's quite simply a hole drilled in the shield and a little peg right here. Push down, push over, it's locked, can't come open. Lift up, pull out, there you go. I'm going to show you how to remove this and put it back on. This is not my favorite shield mechanism on the market. It's average at best. Most of the others I've worked with are better in my opinion. Pull forward on this release tab. Repeat that on the other side. It's really easy to see it. It's orange. Pull forward. It comes off really pretty well. That's not very difficult at all. The area where it gets a little more tricky is when you're trying to put it back on the helmet. We've got three tabs here that you need to locate in a channel. Here, here, and then the third one right here. And that's the tricky one right there. What I like to do is I like to do it one side at a time, obviously. I start by taking the top tab and getting it into its channel and then the rest of them from there just kind of fall in place. Then what I like to do is rotate it down a little bit and that kind of pushes the, the pistol grip thingy back to where you can get a hold of it and then pull back. You can feel it lock into place positively and then you know you got it. Now I'm going to come over to the other side make sure the shield is all the way up. I'm going to push this in at the top, push under, make sure you've got that last little locator tab in place, push it back just a little bit, gets the pistol grip where you can get your hand on it, and there you go. It's locked into place. Like I said, not my favorite shield mechanism, but it's okay. It works. Let's look at the inside of the helmet. Some nice detail here with the liner. Once again, in terms of detail, Icon definitely dots all the I's and crosses all the T's. We love the pattern on the inside of this helmet. The liner is fully removable, washable, and replaceable. I'm going to show you how to do that. Each cheek pad has three snaps. Pull out, pull out, pull out. You can hear them disengage. Then there is a little tab 
that tucks in between the EPS and the helmet shell comes right out. Piece of cake, nice detail. Repeat that on the other side. Same thing, three snaps. Pull it out. Piece of cake. And two snaps at the back. And this tucks into a channel just at the top of the brow. Pull back on it, comes right out, no problem. The snaps and so forth that are attached to this, their engagement is it's, it's pretty good. Some of the other stuff we've seen out there is a little stronger, but all in all, it's not bad. We think the quality of the helmet is pretty good. Um, you can have a look at the EPS on the inside here. Not a bad helmet from Icon. If this is the type of style that you absolutely have to have, you know, if you want one of their graphics to go with the rest of the Icon riding outfit that you've bought, that's great. You have to have it by it. Um, we're going to give you our honest opinion here. We feel in the testing that we've done, the riding that some of my employees have done in these helmets, that there's other stuff out there that offers more performance, more function, more value at a better price point. You guys, if you've been around our website, you probably already know we do quite a bit with Scorpion helmets. We think that you'd be better to look there first, unless, like I said, this styling is absolutely what you have to have, then buy it. I don't think you're going to hate it. There just is better for just a little bit less. Once again, the Icon Domain 2 helmet from sportbiketracker.com.